Hey coaches, this is Coach T. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to start a new series called Concept versus Coverage. We're basically what we're going to do is we're going to give we're going to start with a, a coverage um, and then we're going to go through a concept in the air raid offense and we're going to kind of look at what's open, what should be open, kind of when, when you're teaching your quarterback this stuff, what, what should he be looking for against a certain coverage. All right, so today, the first episode is the Air Raid Channel, so we got to start with mesh. We're going to start with a base mesh concept against a cover two offense. And what I like to do with this is I like to – this is the Just Play Sports uh, software. Very good, very user-friendly if you're not familiar with it. But what I like to do is I like to have my quarterbacks go through this and kind of look at every route and kind of tell me or explain, is it going to be there? Should it be there against this coverage and things like that? So what I like, so real quick, this is uh, just a base, kind of how we run mesh. There's a million different ways you can run mesh. We've run it different ways before. But the way we've been running it recently, on the play side is more similar to how Mike Leach has been doing it with a, a little few little tweaks. So our Z is going to run a six step speed cut and that is a rhythm out from the quarterback. So if the quarterback three steps, three step drops, sees him open, he can throw it in there. Our second read, we go to the back. Um, and the reason we do that is because he's typically our better player and we want to get him the ball in space as much as possible. Now that's different than how Lincoln Riley's theory on this is he always comes back to the mesh if his first option is not there. So we go one speed cut right here back to the F and then right here we have our H coming underneath and he's settling in space between this middle linebacker and this uh, Sam Mike, Sam backer. Our Y sets the mesh, so he's going to push up, or we've even taught him to just take a direct line to six yards. Then he's reading mesh, or then he's reading man versus zone. In this case, he would find find the biggest area of grass between the mic and the wheel, and he would settle up. And then we have our X just basically running a spacer, or a runoff route, just to kind of drop this free safety back, just to kind of keep our wheel somewhat uh, honest and space out our conceptual picture here. So what I like to do is real quick, my quarterback, I will have him come through here and he's gonna color these routes. Green obviously means green, we like it, we're gonna throw it. Yellow typically is an option route. So, or we're reading one safety. So if there's an, um, a chance that he will be open, if that player takes somebody else, we'll mark that as yellow. So our first read right here, we are going to go ahead and make that yellow because what we're basically going to do, and we're going to go ahead and make our second read a yellow. All right, so if we're running mesh, this corner basically has to make a decision. He can drop back a little if he wants and cover this zone, or he can come up on the F. So we're going to get both of these. Uh, maybe we'll throw one of those, all right? Then we come to our third read, which is our H. Now we're gonna go ahead and make that, our H is coming underneath on the mesh. We're gonna go ahead and make that green because that should be open if everything pans out right. And then our fourth read, which would be our Y again, should be open because you know we're, we're sitting in zones in these bubbles in the defense. And then our X being our spacer route, we'll go ahead and mark that as red because we'll probably never get to that point on our progression. All right, so mesh against a traditional cover cover two. Um, I kind of have these bubbles drawn where this is the space I think these guys could cover before we have the ball thrown. So our first read, our Z, it could be there, but that corner either has to take the F or the Z. So one of these should be open and then our H should be and our Y should be in the mesh if they find that grass and sit like they're supposed to. And then our X is our spacer route. All right, so that's uh, two by two mesh. Real quick, I'm gonna give you, uh, try to give you, in, in all of these, I'll try to give you a two by two, a two by one, and then a three by one concept. So we'll go over, 
we'll look at what we call early. Um, so we're looking mesh here again. Again, I kind of have the defense adjusted in those bubbles to what I think, where I think they would drop or where they would end up once we get to this point. So the only difference here is now our H is going to run a dig behind. Some people can turn this into a hunt route if you wanted to. The only problem with that is, is if you settle this guy up somewhere, then he's basically right on top of one of those settling noose guys from the mesh. So we're just going to have him continue across. So basically what he's doing is he's taking the responsibility of getting to this area, which is what the X would have had because now the X has to slide down and be our underneath mesh guy. So again, sit down with your quarterback, have him check these off. Our first route, that six step speed cut, we're going to mark that yellow. We're going to mark our second route, which is our F on the swing yellow, which is also different from Mike Leach. I know he likes to run a shoot. We like a swing just because there's a little more, a little more space. All right. And then our third route again, nothing changes except now our X would be our play side settle guy. And we're going to mark him green. He should be wide open, settled up. This, this guy should be green. And then our H, very rarely would we ever get back to him unless something just absolutely breaks down. So that would be what I would look for mesh against a cover two shifted a little bit towards trips at a three by one. And I'll give you what a lot of people like best, um, the best formation running mesh is two by one. We call this our deuce set. And again, nothing really changes. The only thing that changes is now your X is down because he's he's play side. He's got to be that play side measure. Now your X, your H is going to have a backside wheel. All right, so he's taking the responsibility of those numbers, which the X would have had or the H would have had if he was in trips. So again, go through it with my quarterback where, where the zone's at in the bubble. We're going to go yellow right here for that corner because we're going to read him high low. We're going to come back to the Y or to our our X, which again, in against this coverage, these should always be there if we settle up right. And then our H, this is a weird one because I'm not ever going to say that we will never throw this. Uh, I'm still going to mark it red just for the, the purpose of our progressions and things like that. But this is one of those routes where a lot of times when you run mesh out of two by one like this, this guy gets forgot about this backside wheel. So that that's one of the ones where you call mesh and you see this open or somebody up top sees it open. You come back to mesh two or three plays later and you just tell your quarterback, hey, look H on the wheel. And then he can change his progression. And now he knows he's probably going to come back to that H. All right, guys, so that's mesh against cover two. Try to do that as quick as possible. Gave you uh, what it would look what it would um, look like against a two by two, uh, two by one right here, and then a three by one trip set. So again, we know in the air raid that you run versus man, you sit versus zone. And you don't have to, you shouldn't have to read a lot of coverage because you just know that one concept. But I found that for our quarterbacks, you know, if you're playing a heavy cover two team or things like that, if you sit down with him and kind of break it down like this, he kind of understands pre-snap. All right, this is what I'm looking for. This I know because I've sat down and studied it is going to be open against this specific coverage. All right, guys. So that's cover or that's concept versus cover. Episode one, mesh versus cover two. Um, the next one will probably stay with cover two and we'll just go through a concept and then we'll come back to mesh against cover three, mesh against cover one and so on and so forth. So if you, you like the content, comment. Um, again, I know there's a million different ways to run mesh. This is just a generic type of way where the, con the conceptual picture is still the same, but this is how we've started to run it with the play side. Um, Z or X, depending on which side you're going to, running that rhythm out speed cut. And we got that from, that's how uh, Mike Leach has started running it. So, 
All right, guys, if you have any questions, comment below. Um, you know my contact information. If you want to be a guest on the show, uh, think of a topic, email me, let me know, and we'll get that set up. But uh, all right, guys, take care.